Hey guys, Elisa Wallace here. I have a really cool vlog today and it's all about genetics. <laughs> Just feel like the giant, <laughs> big old giant nerd. Genetics are pretty awesome and I'm kind of a nerd about it. Three things that make genetics cool when talking about horses. Uh, one, we can get some information about their health, kind of what they're predisposed to, um, some really serious uh, diseases that can really affect our horse's health. So that's really, really important. Um, they can also give us a little bit more depth of the horse's coat colors. That's just really fun. Uh, but it can also be the indicators into health as well. Uh, two, it can give us an indicator for uh, the success as a horse, as a sport horse, which this is something that they're kind of working more on. Um, but there's certain uh, genetic markers or alleles that can indicate certain things about a horse. So that is something they're doing a lot more research on, but I think is a really cool aspect. And then the third, which is also fun, is the ancestry. So I don't know how many times I've been asked or told that Eton looks like a Frisian. Uh, so it's really cool to kind of look a little deeper and see the genetic makeup of what the horses are. I just like genetics. Yeah. I just like to know things. Especially with Mustangs because they can be a mystery. I've had the opportunity to work with a really cool company called Edelon Diagnostics and they do a wonderful job of creating a really great uh, comprehensive platform for genetics. Having this comprehensive tool can give us really really good information and I found it really informative about my Mustangs and so we're gonna look a little further into the Mustangs that I have. The first horse we're gonna talk about today is Eton uh, because I get so many comments on how he looks like a Frisian and you guys aren't necessarily wrong about that. He does in fact look like a Frisian. Eton's genetic profile test which talks about his coat color, so we're gonna go there first. So for Eton's coat color, when I first got him, he looked pretty dark to say black, but saying that your horse is black can be a little tricky because horses can be dark, dark bay, dark brown, um, and he actually had a little bit of a red hue to him, and so oftentimes when I said he was black, I would be corrected by some people and say, no, he's in fact dark brown or dark bay. Um, well, no, in fact, he is homozygous black. So what does that mean? Homozygous means, I'm gonna look it up, because they have the, Ooh. they have the uh, definition of that right here. He is homozygous for black and then thus appears black. And a horse that is homozygous for black means he can only be black. Like that is in fact, he has no red genes, nothing. So he can't be bay, he can't pass on those genetics. He can't make a chestnut if he was to have a foal. He can't do any of that because he is in fact black. So that was really cool because um, that actually told me that he wasn't in fact healthy. So the fact that he had like a red tinge, kind of a yellow tinge, kind of looked like he was sunburnt. He wasn't sunburned because he was able to go in and I was able to control his um, coming in during the day. Uh, and so I treated him for ulcers and that in fact can be indicative of that where he's not able to absorb the proper nutrients. So I treated him for ulcers and now that's why his coat looks better. He's black now and he's not red. So that was really informative when I had this done that no, in fact, he's not a dark bay or brown. He is black and he needs to be black. And so I was able to then work with my vet. Yeah, and what's great about Edelon is that the breakdown of it, they have so many things to see about the colors of your horse. And with the Mustangs, there can be such a variation. Oftentimes we don't know what a lot of the colors are, but we know Eton is black. And I can say that, because he's homozygous. So just to give you guys an example, 
of what is on the full panel that they're able to test for. So we did the cut, the coat color is one, uh, and then we can talk about the health genetics. So they're able to test for certain indicators for the immune system, muscle disorders, neurologic disorders, reproductive disorders, skin and hoof disorders. And so that's really, really important for, um, especially our Mustangs, oftentimes they can be predisposed to laminitis or founder. And uh, so this is really good to have. And Eton is clear of those, so I don't have to worry about that. I still have to do proper management so he doesn't get that. Um, because oftentimes it can be hard for Mustangs that have lived out in the west coming to the east coast with this grass that's really lush here so you have to do proper management of their bodies to make sure that they don't aren't overweight and um, could create founder or laminitis. Uh, other interesting things that they can test for at Edelon are trait genetics. One really interesting thing for me that I looked at was the myostatin or the speed. So for uh, Eton, it showed that he has one sprint and one endurance allele. So they're guessing, because they're, they're doing more and more research on this, but that he is a, a mid-distance ability horse, <laughs> which I find very, very accurate because he is very quick on his feet, as we've all seen Eton bolt away, <laughs> and, and he can go for a long period of time. Um, so those are very uh, good indicators. Also, the fact that I am an event rider and I my horses have to have a fair amount of endurance. So he is a type of horse that by seeing that, I would think that uh, he would be possibly suitable for eventing. They also have like a gait. Oh, that is, that is actually really important. So they're able to test for gating. And some people desire that, so a gated horse is much smoother if you're to do trail rides and stuff like that. But however, for the type of horse I'm looking for, I don't want a horse that has that is gated. So if I was to have a Mustang and it tested, I was able to test it and it was tested for gating, I would probably consider that horse would be directed towards trail riding and possibly not um, eventing. So it can be used as a really good tool to kind of give us indicators about what that horse will be successful for. Um, but still, you have to take the horse into consideration and uh, just know that this is a tool. Then they're also able to test for a recurrent uveitis, um, metabolic syndrome, laminitis risk, squamous cell carcinoma, dwarfism, and tiger eye. Now dwarfism doesn't really matter because Eton's not breeding, but it is nice that they have that. Um, he tested all negative to all of those, which is handy. Uh, hoof wall separation disease, that's often called white line. Uh, he has no hoof wall separation disease alleles detected. Um, so that's handy. This can give us a very detailed report about what's going on inside of our horses that can then uh, make sure that we can keep them healthy, which I think is very important because the he a healthy horse is a happy horse. So talking more about Eton and what he is, again, everybody likes to state that he looks like a mini Frisian, which he does. I have to, yes, that is there, and I don't think you guys are wrong. Um, so looking at the breakdown of his ancestry is really cool because Edelon makes it into this kind of pie chart, and they have it broken down for us. So the biggest chunk that sticks out <laughs> is the European heavy horse. So the European heavy horse, which is the Belgian Clydesdale, um, that was at 34.4%. That kind of, it makes sense because again, our Mustangs come from, oftentimes you'll see the influence from back in the day with the miners and the also cavalry remount horses. So you have the mining horses, which sometimes you'll, you'll find the Shetland ponies and the draft horses. And then of course you've got the remount horses that they use as well. 
that were known to be put loose. Also, um, we had the ranchers back in the day that would also add influence by uh, putting their thoroughbred horses or their corn horses or um, to improve the herds so then they would have really nice uh, good stock using horses. So it's just kind of fun to see kind of the history. The next uh, biggest block that he has is the carriage horse which was 17.2 percent and the carriage horse is the French trotter, the saddle bred, and the standard bred. So that is why we see um, Eton is a very kind of high moving horse. So that's it's kind of interesting to see that. The next is the Iberian, which is at 15.9%. So that is your Andalusian, Lusitano, um, those type of breeds. And Again, that kind of explains how his carriage and his nice movement. Um, and then following this, the next highest we have is the North Sea, which is 12%, 12.1. And that is the Icelandic, North Swedish, and the Shetland. So again, like when I mentioned um, the miners with the pit ponies, the Shetland ponies, that's, that's why sometimes you'll see Shetland ponies popping up in the Mustang kind of genetics. Um, the stinker little pony side of them sometimes. And then next we have the thoroughbred which is at 11.7%. Um, and then he also has the Near East which is 6.7%. So that the Near East is the Arabian. So kind of of the hotter blood he has around what is that 17 almost 18% hotter blood. So I mean, all things considered. Again, it's always interesting to kind of see the different body types of all the Mustangs and then being able to see their genetic makeup is what I find really, really interesting. And uh, Edelon is really excited about doing more and more Mustang um, genetic profiles because then that's more information that they can have. And then that's actually more information that we can do uh, for the Mustangs. So oftentimes there's the there's the debate of whether the Mustangs are a breed. I mean I think they're a breed but this way we have a little bit more research that can then tell us because what's really cool is that Edelon also gives us examples of of uh, what other compositions of horses look like. And so for certain breeds they have very similar similarities. So it'll be interesting to go back and look at all of my Mustangs and see how their genetic makeups of their pie charts kind of match or don't match. Or, um, and then also in relation to kind of what those horses are successful in. But so far, Eton seems to be very quick footed. He can go for a long time. He's very athletic in the fact that he's a very good jumper and mover. And um, so it'll be exciting to see kind of how he does, but his genetic markers kind of point all in the direction that he could be a successful event horse. So we're going to hopefully keep our fingers crossed.